Hi guys, every year after Christmas a lot of new people start to play Gran Turismo 7. So I decided to create a quick guide to show you how to get from 0 to 5 million credits in about 90 minutes. Gran Turismo 7 is different to other GT titles. The game won't give you the freedom you had in previous titles, but it will guide you through your career mode. So the only thing you have to do to make progress is to follow the instructions the game gives to you. In fact, you will spend most of your time at the beginning just clicking through the dialogues and jumping through the scenes. I skipped and cut a lot of these things to make the video shorter. I know most people who start with a new game want to have many cars and a lot of credits as fast as possible. So this is what I do with my guide. Like in every Gran Turismo game, the first thing we have to do is to get a car. In my case it's the Toyota Fit. After we visited our garage, we will unlock the main feature of the game. The GT Cafe. In the GT Cafe you will get different tasks to complete. Most of them collecting specific cars, but also uh, doing special races or add a white body and wash your car. Our first task in the menu books is to collect the three compact cars. There are two ways to collect these cars. You can do the highlighted races or you can simply buy the cars. Buying is of course faster than racing. But how do we get the credits we need for this? The simple answer is circuit experiences. On the world circuits tab you will see all the circuits you have unlocked so far. At this moment we only have three tracks, one in each region. We will start with the Northern Isle Speedway. And instead of doing the race, we will go for the circuit experience first. If you beat the goal time you will get 120,000 credits plus an additional 30,000. So in total 150,000 credits just for one lap. I'm a pretty experienced player in this game and even I don't make it on the first try most of the time. But it's definitely worth keep trying because you will get faster and learn the tracks. And especially at the beginning there's no other events with such a good payout per time. A quick tip for this circuit experience. Be smooth with your throttle and also with your steering inputs. And also for all other circuit experiences try to avoid walls and going off track. Important at this point you will get the credits only once. So repeating these circuit experiences won't give you additional credits. Another thing is the more complex the circuits are the more credits you will get for golding it. So this goes up to about 1 million credits for a track like Suzuka and even 5 million credits for the Nordschleife. If you're just not fast enough to get gold times, it's even worth it to go on for bras on most of the tracks. So after the circuit experience we will go for our first Sunday Cup race. Like I said before, most of the time you don't need to race. It's enough to just buy the car. But at this point, I will just show you the regular way how to do it. This is an extremely easy race and with our fit, we can go flat out through the whole race and just win it with no pressure. After this success, we will get one of our missing cars as a reward. With each car we add to our garage, no matter if we win it or if we buy it, we will increase our collector's level. With a higher level we will unlock more tracks and things in the game. And instead of doing the last race, at this point I will just go to the used car dealership. We buy the Toyota and this is how we complete our first menu book. We go back to the cafe and get our next task. Completing the first B1 license test. At this point I want to talk about the driving assists. I prefer driving without driving assists besides ABS. For inexperienced players and 
also for a license test like this, I'd recommend to use traction control for the start. For start and stop tests like this, there are cones on the right and left side of the track you can use as reference for braking point. This makes gold quite easy, even you don't need it to complete the test. Cross is enough. After each task, go back to the GT Cafe and get a new one. For our next menu, we need three classic cars. So, what are we doing? We're going to the used car dealership and just buy them. At this point we get a roulette ticket, which we won't redeem now, but if you do you can win credits, cars, tuning parts and other things. We also unlock the tuning shop at this point. Next I will do another circuit experience at the BB Raceway. It is a short and simple circuit and golding this will give us another 280,000 credits. There's only one braking point and it's in the first corner. You brake at around the 100 meter boards and that's all you have to do. Second part is flat out and even I did a small lift, you will see on the full run you can take this with full throttle. For the full run just take what you learned in the sections before and put it all together in one lap. As you see with my ghost I've done this before but it should be a matter of a couple of tries to make it. With the credits we just made, we will go to the used car dealership and get a car for our next race. I'd recommend something with enough power like a Mitsubishi Lancer, Evo or a Corvette. Depending on what's offered on your used car dealer at the moment. At this point I will give you a quick look at the tuning shop. The most important and most useful tuning in my opinion are the tires as they will give us the best performance for our credits. Another cheap update is a sports computer for some little extra power. And now we're ready for the high speed ring track day. This championship consists of two races, one on the regular direction and one on the reverse track. You see I'm overtaking the other cars quite fast, so I don't have to show you the whole race.
The second race is on a wet track, but also really easy to win. After the race, we get another car as a reward. At this point, we will unlock Tsukuba Circuit, Suzuka Circuit and the Brand Central. Brand Central is where you get all the new cars built in the 21st century. And to have enough credits to go shopping, we will go on with another circuit experience. The one on Tsukuba should be too hard even for beginners. The car is easy to drive and you should focus on the tight line and being back on throttle early. I'd recommend to use manual transmission, but it's also possible on automatic. The reward for this one is 400k, but even if you only manage to get bras, you will get 60k credits for this. You can see me completing the whole circuit experience or just skip to the next chapter. For our next menu book we need two more cars. We will get them at a used car dealership and on the brand central. Bye. 
Our next task is to tune a 9065 Mini Cooper. So we head to the tuning shop and add some fresh tires and stage 1 of weight reduction. Menu book number 7 will finish by just buying the free cars from Brand Central. With menu book number 8 we unlock GT Auto and Escapes mode. Escapes is where we can make photos in different locations and GT Auto allows us to customize our cars. To finish our next menu book we simply have to wash the car. To attend the race in our next menu book, we have to complete the B license. To finish this we only need bras in every license test. But as in our first test, I will go for the gold times in each of them. The license tests, especially at the beginning, are pretty easy. I think I did most of them first try. The B2 license test is similar to the first one. We just got a faster car and so we have to brake earlier, but still right next to the cones. The next test is just full throttle and turning in. I lifted a little bit in my first try so I had to do this again. Our next test is on the same corner as before, but our car is a little bit faster, so we have to go off the throttle and slightly use our brakes. Number 5 on Tsukuba again is a full throttle one. Just hit the apexes and this is an easy gold. Number 6 is on the same section on Tsukuba, but this time with the Nissan 370Z. This car is a lot faster and so we have to brake for the first corner and lift on the second one.
Number 7 takes place on Trial Mountain. I didn't hit the perfect breaking point and also didn't hit the apex at the right time, but you see it's still an easy gold. Our next test is the first corner on Mount Panorama. Our breaking point is at around 75 to 80 meters and we want to accelerate early. In our next test on Dragon Trail, we will take this first corner flat out, go for the curbs and then hit the brakes. We shift down to second gear and then try to accelerate early again. For our final test we will go back to Tsukuba. This time we start after the first corner and we will head in a straight line to the second hairpin. Again like in the circuit experience we will try to have a tight line. For the right hander we need to lift a little bit. With this test finished, we will get our B license. And because we beat all the goal times, we will receive two cars. One for our bronze and one for all gold. We are now allowed to enter our second championship. For the two races on Tokyo Road, we will take our Mitsubishi Lancer Evo. This car is again completely overpowered and so the two races will be an easy win. I guess this is the point most people are waiting for, because after the second championship you will unlock the sports mode. This is where all the online fun happens, the sports mode races and also the online time trails. 
Also this unlocks the multiplayer mode. Here we can create our own lobbies and race with our friends in custom races. I will redeem some of our 1 star tickets now, so you can see what you can get there. I have some more tickets from the login campaign and also the weekly rewards. But I won't use them in today's video, even you can get some more money and more rewards from these. Another way to win a lot of credits at this stage is to go for the online time trails. You can find them on the sports mode tab and these are time trail events with a two weeks set schedule. Your goal is it to finish within 3% of the world record. So the target times are dynamic. Whenever someone beats the current world record, the times for gold, silver and bronze also get lowered. Getting gold here is much harder than in the license test and circuit experiences. But 2 million credits are also a high reward for this. For our next menu book we can buy the cars again right from the used car dealership. Menu book number 11 requires 3 French hot hatches, which we'll buy from the brand central this time. At this point I'm taking a break from the menu books. We unlocked a couple of tracks and so we also get some fresh circuit experiences. From here it depends on your personal preferences. For example tracks you know from previous games or the cars you like to drive. In my case I go for the Suzuka circuit as I like the track and this pays more than 1.2 million credits. From now I won't go any deeper into the track guides for the circuit experiences. If you struggle on these, there are plenty of good lab guides on YouTube.
I didn't make every test on the first try, but you see in total the whole circuit experience in Suzuka took us less than 10 minutes. The next circuit experience for me is Lake Maggiore. It pays about 1 million credits and over the past months I've done countless laps on this track, so I'm pretty used to it. As I said before, you don't need to do the same order as I did with the circuit experiences, just do whatever you like. Some of the tests will be more difficult than others and some of the cold times are even pretty hard for me to achieve. So the ones in this video are those I think are the easiest to gold because of easy handling cars or low gold times.
After Lake Maggiore, I'm going for Brands Hatch. I guess this is a track many of you will know, and so it should be easier to master than a fictional track you've never seen before. But be careful, because the radical can be tricky to drive.
The final circuit experience I will show you in this video is the one in Sardegna. I guess this won't be something for most of you, but I love to drive the fastest cars in this game like the LMP1s and also those with a lot of downforce. But I've heard doing this on controller can be really hard. After just about 5 minutes we can add another 1.2 million credits to our account. So 90 minutes after the start we've made more than 5 million credits in total. From this point you should have enough money to rush through the next several menu books. Or you just buy a Bugatti Chiron. I hope this video helped you to quick start your Gran Turismo 7 career. If it helped you and you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more future videos.